Father God, right now, we come to you, Lord, thanking and praising you, O God, for who you are, O God. Father, we come, O God, declaring that you are God and you're God all by yourself, that all power resides in you, O Lord. Even though we look at our society and we see all the things that are happening, O God, we still know that you are in control. Father, we pray right now for every black person, O God, for every brown person who has come under this heavy oppression, O God. We pray right now, Lord God, for those who are out there in the street who are protesting peacefully, O God, for justice, equality, and equity, O God, that has been more than 400 years in the making, O God. We know, Lord, that just as you delivered the children of Israel from harsh, harsh oppression, O oh God. You provided a way for them through the Red Sea, Lord. We're looking for you to do the same thing for your people, O oh God, for your black and brown folks who suffer the similar circumstance, O oh God. We come right now, Lord God, asking, O oh God, that you would rebuke every white supremacist, O oh God, and every person who would seek to buy into their rhetoric, O oh God. Father, from the White House to the Poor House, O oh God, we pray that you would deliver us from the evil of white supremacy, from the evil evil of anti-blackness, O oh God, from the evil of capitalism, O oh God, that seeks to buy and sell us, O oh God. Lord God, that is centered in the greed that continues to put us at risk. And so, Father, right now we ask that your word would go forth, O oh God. We ask, Heavenly Father, that your people would stand up. We, are, we ask that every Christian who believes on your name would stand and pray, O oh God, that you would bring your peace and that you would bring your judgment upon those who continue to walk outside of your will, Lord. Father, we pray for every religious leader, O oh God, who is complicitly buying into this white supremacist rhetoric, O oh God. We pray for white evangelicals and we ask in the name of Jesus that you would draw them to you, O oh God, that you would give them the capacity to understand the harm that they do when they remain silent and when they align themselves, O oh God, to those who would seek to do black and brown people harm. Father, we pray right now, Lord, that you would send forth your revival. God, that you would send forth your revival, a revival in your word, a revival in word, a revival in deed. Father, we pray, oh God, that you said in your word that if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, that you would forgive their sins and heal their land. Help us to accept the fact that the national sin that this country has, has is is guilty of is the sin of racism oh god father god that sin is permeated throughout this globe and so father we ask that christians everywhere would fall on their knees and repent and then a change and do that which is pleasing in your sight oh god for this lord we thank you for this we praise you for this we give you glory in jesus christ's name we pray Thank God and amen.